For the past 200 or so years, we have enjoyed an incredible amount of freedom in this country. We were the envy of the world and even widely known as the lucky country. Now, somewhat a nation of misfits, a melting pot of ethnic backgrounds where tolerance, freedom and mateship was highly valued and lavishly expressed. Hundreds of thousands of people have flocked here as immigrants or tourists over the years because of our laid back, she'll be right mate, attitude. We have welcomed so many with open arms, open minds and open hearts. But somewhere in the past decade or so, everything has gone terribly wrong here and overseas. Now to say it's gone pear-shaped would be a massive understatement. Our freedoms are being eroded, and while many Aussies still cling to their footy, beers and weekend barbies, others are waking up to realise what we once held so dear, what made us the envy of nations, has been stolen away from us in our sleep. Common sense, good humour, the larrikin spirit and mateship are now condemned, mocked and even feared to the point of censorship. All of us have example after example of social media giants policing our words or banning us in an attempt to silence us. We've all been trolled, reported and sin binned. For what? Speaking the truth. You know, it's not a joke or a throwaway line anymore. Truth really is the new hate speech. Increasingly, every day, we're realising that there is so much truth in the statement. To learn who rules over you, simply find out who you are not allowed to criticise. Recently, I reposted a cartoon about the Tommy Robinson arrest and imprisonment, and I was threatened by Facebook to have my account closed. You know, this cartoon didn't threaten anyone or incite violence. It was simply a clever observation about how you can and can't criticise people in today's society. Oh, the irony. Minority groups with a victim mentality whinge and whine and cry so loudly that they're appeased and moddy coddled at every turn. Instead of vigorous and honest debate, we're silenced. Instead of engaging in ideas, the offended ones hurl insults and do everything they can to shut down any form of criticism or rational debate. In recent weeks, I've had two bans from Twitter for highlighting or exposing the source of Islamic violence. I haven't engaged in hate speech. I have simply exposed those who do. Tommy Robinson is now in prison in the UK for his tireless efforts to expose that kind of violence. Here in Australia, Sonia Kruger is being dragged through the mire because she dared to honestly voice a concern that many rational Aussies have. Lawfare is just one of the weapons leftists use to try and intimidate the masses. There are even some losers in this country who make a living from being offended. They drag people through human rights style councils who seem to make up the law as they go along. Don't be intimidated. Don't back down. You are not wrong to want to stand for good old fashioned common sense. You are not a bigot, a homophobe or an Islamophobe if you want to ask some serious questions and expect rational debate. Stop appeasing, stop apologising and stop being afraid. Don't back down. Let's all be like Tommy and say it like it is. Let's stand with Sonia and prove that common sense is not dead.